everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So we're here today for Booklist Thursday, a little pre, what is it, Christmas Eve Eve. I always, as a kid, I loved Christmas Eve Eve because it felt like it was this kickoff to like multiple days of celebration. But um, I am probably scrambling. I am scrambling. I am totally scrambling. But it's all going to be okay. Anyways, um, for Booklist Thursday for today... Booklist Thursday is something I do with Sarah over at Sarah's Nightstand. We come to you every Thursday with some sort of thoughts, ideas, recommendations, something bookish related. Um, so for day, today's theme is actually we have to give all the credit to Sarah's daughter, Layla. We were trying to come up with something and we're just kind of at a loss and she just like threw this out there and we're like, yeah, let's do it. Um, so she said, what about books with stars on the covers? Because we didn't want to do too Christmassy yet. A star can be very Christmassy. So we're like, yeah, we're, we jumped on that bandwagon thinking like, how hard can this be? And it is harder than you think. So um, I had to get creative, but it's all good. So we'll start with literal interpretation of books with stars on the cover and have some books with some stars on the cover. So the first one I want to talk about is Night Road by Kristen Hanna. Um, this is the very first Kristen Hanna book I read. This is what got me hooked, what like led me down the Kristen Hanna rabbit hole, and I will forever be grateful to Night Road. But this follows our main character, Jude. Um, she has twin, she has twins, Maya and Zach, right? Maya and Zach. And they are 18 years old, and for 18 years she has been putting everything on hold to ensure that these kids are raised in a really loving household, have... I don't want to say like the best of everything. It's not like she spoiled them, but she definitely really put all her energy into them, into making sure that their future was set up for for them. And so they're 18 years old, and they're seniors in high school, and a new girl comes to town named Lexi. She um, isn't really welcomed by a lot of people, but Jude totally sees a little bit of her in her past. Lexi is a former foster child, um, has some secrets in her past, and quickly becomes best friends with Maya, and I believe there's a bit of a love interest between Zach and Lexi. So they spend the entire, they spend all their time together. Um, and again, Jude is doing everything she can to keep her kids on track for college, keep them out of harm's way, and one hot summer night, her worst fears are realized, one decision will change the course of all of their lives in the blink of an eye. So it's fantastic. It's awesome. it, It's just a really, really good book. It definitely makes you think Kristen Hanna, again, is a fantastic author. This is an older book of hers. How was this published? Ooh, I mean, she still had a bunch of them before it. Um, 2011. Whoa, 10 years old. But definitely still relevant, still fantastic. I really liked it, if you couldn't tell. Next one I have is The Smell of Other People's Houses. Look at all those. Love it. Um, by Sonny, by Sonny, boo. <laughs> Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. Whoa. Anyways, this one's a really quick book. It's, I wanna say 200 pages. Yeah, 223. I read this in one day. Um, it was also during readathon, so I feel like that was what pushed me. Um, but it takes place in Alaska. It says Alaska growing up here isn't like growing up anywhere else. And so we have four different lives going through different journeys that all kind of become entangled. So we have Ruth who wants to be remembered. Dora wishes she were invisible. Alice can't bring herself to leave and Hank is running away. They live in Alaska on the cold edge of America where each one must find strength, courage, and the heart to survive. Again, I really liked it. I in retrospect, probably not. I probably downgraded a star or so. Um, but I still remember the characters. I remember how I was feeling when I read this book. I thought it was really good. I thought it packed some good lessons in here in this short little itty bitty book. But there's another one. I don't remember what rating I gave it, but you know, it doesn't matter. Just pick it up. All right. So then the next one, again, taking some liberty, there are stars on this flag. So we have The Trader's Wife by Allison P Pataki. Um, this is the woman behind Benedict Arnold and the plan to betray America. She is married to Benedict Arnold during the Revolutionary War, who we all know betrayed America and fled to the British. Um, 
as history's most notorious turncoat. Many know, known, many know Arnold's co-conspirator, Major John Andre, who was apprehended when with Arnold's documents in his boots and hang, hanged on the orders of George General Washington, but few knew the integral third character in the plot, a charming young woman who not only contributed to the betrayal, but orchestrated it. Right? It sounds fantastic. I need to get to that one. And then the other one with stars on the cover is True Women by Janice Woods Wendell. Um, I picked this up because I have watched the movie, which I feel like is an underrated movie. Um, but we're, fi we're really following a set of women during the, I believe, pre-Civil War. So it takes place in Texas. We have Ashby King stands firm against the Mexican general Santa Ana and the feared Comanche um, Tarantula and leads the bitter battle for women's suffrage. Georgia defends her household by any means necessary from a blackmail of a corrupt Yankee commandant. And Betty fends off wolves, storms, and the Ku Klux Klan as she steers her loved ones through the turbulent birth of modern times. I believe it's based on the author's own family history. So, I've, like I said, I've seen the movie, or maybe it was a miniseries, something like that. I really, really enjoyed it, uh, and I really, I want to give it a whirl. But look at this, look at this, this is tiny. Ooh. So, anyways, another one with stars on the cover. And then my last one, again, I'm being creative. Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. It's a Lunar Chronicles collection. It is the only Lunar Chronicles book I have not read yet. So the Lunar Chronicles, um, we have them on the back, starts with Cinder, Crest, Scarlet, and Winter. It's a YA sci-fi book about follow Cinder, who's a cyborg, and the adventures she goes on. We're going to leave it at that. But this one, I believe, is a um, collection of short stories that takes place after the series and so I want to get to this one I know there's a read-along read read -along going on which I'm assuming they're probably almost to this book and I should really just hop on that bandwagon and finish it off we'll see if that happens so those are my books with stars on the cover <laughs> thank you Layla <laughs> anyways hop over to Sarah's channel see what she came up with I know she had a hard time too so I'm assuming she took some creative liberties as well otherwise comment below if you can think of one that I just didn't find um like comment fun and now the dog's shaking the camera so we're gonna go like comment subscribe all that fun stuff and I'll see you next time bye